What is going on, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen of the world? This is going to be a mad quick version of Nate Talks because I said I would do it in the middle of the announcement for EVO because it looked like at the time Revelator was going to be the quote-unquote anime representation. I should have picked up on the hints from Mike Ross because um, he kept on saying like, so the anime community's happy, right? Yeah, y'all are happy, right? There's no reason for them to complain. I should have picked up on that. Is that like, you know, he's hinting, being a bit sarcastic there, that they know that people, that you know, the fans of Blaze Blue were probably like, wait a minute, what? Guilty Gear again? Come on, man. We got a new version of our game. You could have at least given us one year. And he knew that and was uh, hinting toward it. I should have picked up on that. But I didn't. And I that's what I kind of assumed because I even wrote down beforehand what I thought the roster was going to be. Street Fighter, well, basically exactly what it was. Street Fighter, both Smash games, um, or exactly what it was last year. Street Fighter, both Smash games, Killer Instinct, Marvel, um, one anime game, one Nether Realms game, and Tekken. That's what I thought was going to be there. And so, um, and King of Fighters 14 as well. And then what ended up happening is that basically, in my head, kind of, Blaze Blue replaced Marvel. And then Killer Instinct got... I mean, obviously, because Marvel's still on that ninth slot. That's the open slot where you can... Um, well, anyway, I'll get into it. So, because I thought there was only going to be one anime game present, once I thought about it, like, once they were actually... They announced that, oh, we're going to be announcing the games tonight, kind of went to the forefront of my mind that, like, wait a minute. They just announced Revelator version 2.0. Was that because they know... That the Evo announcement is coming up and that they want Revelator 2.0, that Arc System Works wants Revelator 2.0 at Evo. Is that going to override Blaze Blue's chances? Is that about to happen? And so that's what I thought was going to happen. Then, of course, they announced Revelator uh, first. I don't know if that was intentional, if that was, you know, kind of like they knew that people would be thinking that. Thus, you know, let's try and kind of surprise people. They want to keep it fresh. And so once I saw that, I was like, oh, well, there goes Blaze Blue. We're not getting that again. But then they said, you know, it's a returning game. We had this back in 2014, had really hype finals. I was like, oh, that's Blaze Blue right there. Didn't even need to keep going. It was just that, that was Blaze Blue. We're getting both. What really did legitimately surprise me, though, was the fact that Blaze Blue got the Sunday slot. I would have thought that Guilty Gear would have taken that and they would have just put Blaze Blue off on the Saturday, you know, finale kind of thing. Um,. That's a really nice thing, you know. Blaze Blue's getting its, uh, it's, it's getting some attention for itself. That's really cool. That being said, let me just give a shout out to the Asian fighting game community. You're welcome for giving you like half of these games for free. There's no way they're gonna lose Tekken Seven. Zero percent chance. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it has been in Japanese or not Japanese, but Asian arcades in general for over a year at this point. And they even mentioned the uh, release date for Tekken 7 is June 2nd, which means people are going to get basically a month and a half of practice on the console version. Uh, and so if you have not had access to arcades, regular access to arcades to work on your matchups, work on your game, you're fucked. So, congratulations Asia, y'all gonna win Tekken 7. Congratulations China! Y'all gonna win King of Fighters 14. I mean, I don't know why it's known as, like, the quote-unquote Mexican game. Because China always wins. They always win. Always. And they're gonna win again. Actually, I don't know if it was China. Was it maybe, was it Korea? I don't know. Well, again, it's somewhere in the Asias. They're gonna take that shit. Uh, Blaze Blue Guilty Gear. Free. Like, come on, man. We know. We know. It would be a nice upset if some of our top level players could do it, but I just don't see that happening. Because, like, that was kind of a big thing when um, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend was a side tournament there when it was the first year Revelator was, I, was at Evo, I believe. SKD beat Dogura, but that one was Dogura was using New 13, just his, he was never good with that character, and so, like, if the real Blaze Blue players show up, I just don't. S they're not gonna lose, and like we know with Guilty Gear, every single year it's been at Evo. There has been one American that has made it to top eight, and they get immediately bopped out, and it's just an all Asian top four. Same thing with Blaze Blue. I mean, it's just you're not. We're not getting away from that. So 
guaranteed four out of the nine games, I'm calling it right now, someone from Asia is going to take those games. Then you have the question mark. Street Fighter. Are they going to take that one? Because Knuckle Dude, you know, obviously showed up at Capcom Cup, bodied some people. Who knows if that's going to give them a wake-up call. As far as I'm aware, they don't seem to be incredibly into it as they have been previous games in the Street Fighter series. They just don't really seem to care as much. So maybe that might be a factor as to why America is looking quote-unquote stronger because they're just not putting in the same amount of effort with it. I don't know. Um, but that is a question mark whether or not they're going to win that. I actually don't know. Do Japanese players show up for Smash? I didn't really... I don't just I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. So... You know, I, I would assume, again, it would be uh, those two games are going to be America. Then what else do they have? All right, Injustice 2. Who knows? Who knows how that's going to go? But, I mean, I assume... I don't even know if those games sell in the Asia region. But I really just don't... I don't know. That game is a huge question mark for me, personally. Uh, about how it's going to be, about how it's going to go. I watched... I watched Flo play the beta for a little bit, and there was a torrent of Supergirls. Granted, there were only four characters available at the time. Superman, Supergirl, Batman, and Atrostis, or however the hell you pronounce that dude's name. It was like 75% Supergirl, 15% Batman, 8% Superman, and then like 2% Atrostis, and that was pretty much only Flo. <laughs> Um, so, like, who knows how that game's gonna go. I don't think we even still know the full cast. I actually have not been paying attention to it whatsoever. Um, I try to avoid stuff like that. Like, I remember seeing a story that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's roster actually got leaked. Or purportedly got leaked. It's not confirmed yet. But, um, somebody who is well known as leaking accurate data leaked the list and a bunch of people saw it and somebody else you know like i saw other people talking about it but thankfully i have not actually seen the list myself and i i want that to be a surprise i don't want to just see it on like a fucking spreadsheet i want to see a character select screen that shows me everything you know what i mean like i want to be able to just yeah whatever um so i don't know who is confirmed in the game i don't know what all the additional you know, like how they have that armor shit i don't know how that's actually gonna work who knows how that game's gonna go? I don't. It's not released yet. We're just not gonna know. Um, but yeah, so the big thing is that they're bringing back what they did that initially got Melee at slot. And obviously we've all seen how well Melee has done since then. So it's really cool that they're opening this up again as a community-driven uh, game entry. That's really cool and it's really awesome they gave it a Sunday slot. And so, personally, I really want it to either be Super Turbo... Or ARMS. Because I assume that their version of Super Turbo is going to be the one that's on the Switch. Since, you know, obviously that's coming out. So it would be... F I just... I really want it to be one of the Nintendo Switch games. Just because I can't imagine the Nintendo Switch not being a nightmare to deal with in a tournament format. Because you have so many moving parts. Um, people aren't going to want to play, obviously, on those stupid little... Nun, not nunchucks, but you know, whatever the fuck they're called. Those tiny little things that are probably the size of my finger that are supposed to be controllers. Like, nobody's gonna want to play on those, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but I kind of just assume it'll be hilarious. And I kind of just want to see that solely for that reason. Um, and I think that's basically all. I mean, you know, it's, it's a really cool thing, and part of me almost wishes that Blaze Blue had been included in that. Solely because it is the opportunity to see people put their money where their mouth is, right? You know, like you all, every single time Evo is announced, you always have people. Why are two Smash games there? Why is Marvel still there after all this time? But you know, like everybody has their reason, everybody has their questions, everybody believes that their favorite game should have gotten a slot and a game that they don't care for should not have gotten a slot. And that happens constantly, especially with Blaze Blue, because Blaze Blue is definitely on like the upper echelon of known fighting games that hasn't really been represented ever since Guilty Gear came out. And so, you know, a lot of people feel kind of spited thanks to that. And, but I, it's just, you know, personally, I've seen it time and time again where people are always like, 
we want more blaze blue tournaments we want more exposure we want more blah 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 you know this game's awesome but then when the time comes for people to actually do it to take part in it there's just crickets you don't nobody shows up nobody there were tournaments i remember a tournament that happened nearby to me um and people were saying like yeah yeah we'll show up absolutely if you want to run a tournament if you want to get all that shit going dude we'd be happy to and then that's what the dude did and like four people showed up and everybody else you know like 90 percent of the people that said they want more tournaments they want to be able to go to uh more offline things didn't show up and so it's a wonderful thing to like put your money where your mouth is right like and i understand you know sometimes some people can't afford uh to be able to hand out money to various things like this it's just you know you don't you're living paycheck to paycheck or whatever you're a student all your money is going toward like student loans or just tuition or whatever various reasons why somebody may not have money to donate so it kind of sucks if you're in that position but nonetheless you know it's still kind of okay you want your game to get exposure show us how much i kind i appreciate that i respect that and i think it's a really nice way to really show that you are interested in your game being there and it's not just some kind of petty like i mean i want it there but i don't want to do anything to get it there you know like that's and that always annoys me so anyway that's really all i had to say didn't have much to go through uh obviously initially it was gonna kind of be like oh look at that blaze blue got shoved under the rug it's the redheaded stepchild of the anime games but nope made it in so now all i need to make my 2017 perfect is for unist to get announced i'm never letting this go we're never gonna get it it's very clear it's gonna be another persona 4 arena ultimax 2.0 scenario where it never comes outside arcades and god damn it that makes me sad but I want it. I missed the O'Neill train. I refused to import it because I didn't believe in it. And then I got it and I fucking loved it. But nobody was playing it by then. And it made me so sad. Anyway. I'm going to leave. Thank you for listening. Peace.